y'all. All right, y'all. So uh, they got us hooked up to the uh, leg. Um, I don't know what to call this thing. Yeah, it's some to help the blood circulation in the legs. I like to tell, you know, one of our, one of our cool stories, you know what I'm saying, while we waiting, you know, for this to uh, finish up. Um, you know, everybody know that we and my wife met in Hillwood back in 1984. Um, she was the most beautiful girl I had ever seen in my life, you know. And, uh, and she was the only one that really, you know, captured my attention uh, back then. And, um, you know, we had like a, I was only living in the neighborhood for like four years. Um, and then uh, my mom and my dad decided to move back to Third Ward, where I originally grew up at. So, uh, you know, in you know, nineteen ninety six I told y'all we, we ran into each other at McDonalds and you know, and that was a great day for us to uh, kinda uh catch back up with each other and everything. But then uh in nineteen ninety eight her sister, one of her sisters, uh named Shonda, Shonda Boyd, uh, she was working at uh Jack in the Box in Third Ward. And um, so one of these um, one of these nights, you know, I'm leaving the studio. I, um, you know, I was doing music, you know, back then. You know, I was, you know, writing songs with a friend of mine, and, and we would work until like, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. You know, a lot of times, and, and uh, when I would leave the studio, I would go to uh, Jack in the Box to get me something to eat. And um, this is where my wife's sister worked at. And um, she would always work the same night shift. She would always, you know, like the uh, the graveyard shift. So, you know, I would pull up and I would always see her there. You know, sometimes she would hook me up with some, you know, extra food, like maybe some tacos or something, you know. and. Uh, and I always bought like the same meal, like a burger and fries or something, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, this one night I went up there, uh, she was like, hey, um, Rochelle living back in Third Ward now. I was like, oh, for real? And she was like, yeah. So I was like, well, uh, hey, uh, give her my number, you know what I'm saying? I want to talk to her. I ain't seen her in two years. So she was like, okay. So I gave her my number and stuff. And, um, and so, you know, week had went by and stuff, you know, I didn't hear from her yet, you know, and so I went back up there, like, maybe next week or a couple of weeks after that, and, uh, you know, same thing, just leaving the studio, finna go get me something to eat, and I, uh, I go up there to the Jack in the Box, and I say, hey, uh, I see Shonda again, I say, hey, what's up? I said, hey, did you give uh, Rochelle my number? And she was like, she said, oh, no, I couldn't do it because uh, I had to throw it away. And I was like, why? She said, well, because I didn't want my my dude, that she, the dude that she was with at the time, to uh, find the number and think that, you know, she was cheating on him or something, right? And I, I looked at that like, yo, that was real. That was real because it showed me that she was a faithful uh, woman to um uh, her dude at the time, you know, brother named Larry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Larry, one of my homeboys too, from, you know, brother-in-law, you know, but uh, she was real faithful, you know, to him. So she made sure that um, she got rid of my number so that he wouldn't think that, you know, she was cheating or something, you know, so she was real faithful to to uh, him and I, I respected her for that. But anyway, I gave her my number again and uh, told her, you know, hey, give it to Rochelle, you know, so. She said, I promise I'm going to give it to her this time. I'm going to give it to her. I said, okay, cool. So um, she did. So, like, the next maybe, like, weekend. No, it wasn't a weekend. It was probably, like, on a, uh, I think it was, like, it was the next week. It was, like, on a Tuesday, Tuesday night. And uh, I was at the studio with my friend working on some music again. And uh, 
So, you know, back then we had pagers. We didn't have cell phones and stuff back then. So she had paged me, you know, beat me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, who is this? I'm thinking this may be a girl I met at the club that weekend or something. You know, I didn't know who it was. So I, I had used the uh, studio phone to call the number back. And uh, when I called the number back, it was her. And I was like, she was like, uh, she said, hey, what's up? I'm like, what's up, man? Who is this? You know, she's like, I said, uh, she said, it's Rochelle. I'm like, I said, hey, where, where I met you at? Cause I'm, like I said, I'm thinking I met her at the club or something, you know, because I was, you know, I was out there trying to be a player at the time, you know, meet a whole bunch of different girls and stuff. But anyway, um, when she told me who she was, she was like, yeah, I'm from Rochelle from Hillwood, Rochelle boy. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? And I was like, so excited to hear from her, you know what I'm saying? And my homeboy was standing by me. He was like, man, who is that? I said, man, this is an old girl I used to uh, like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, like an ex, not an ex-girlfriend, but just a girl I had I had love for back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, oh, that's what's up, man. So I was like, uh, I said, yeah, what's up? I said, um, I'm about to leave the studio. I say, uh, can I call you back on this number? She was like, she said, well, no, nah, because it's kind of late. And, you know, uh, the person she was staying with had a little young baby. So she didn't want the phone to wake the baby up. So I was like, all right. So I said, well, look, can you call me back in about, you know, an hour? Call me at this number. I gave her my house number, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she was like, all right, yeah. So immediately I just, you know, Shut the studio down. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. You know, got grabbed my bag. And I told my homeboy that I'll see him, um, you know, next week. You know what I mean? But, you know, at that time, we were working on a project with Ice Cube. Ice Cube was in town, and he was, uh, he was wanting some rap hooks for his album that he was working on. So, we was kind of waiting around to see when he was going, you know, uh, get us in the studio to come do that. But we ended up uh, messing with it like the next day or whatever, you know. So anyway, so I went home that night and I got on the phone with her. She called me, you know, right in that hour time, within that hour. And then we stayed on the phone till like nine that morning. Just talking about old times catching up, you know what I mean? Now, I had to go to work the next day, remember, because I was working at Compact dealing with uh, computers and stuff. And, uh, and so, you know, I had to go to work, but I had worked a night shift, like, you know, from 6 in the evening to 6 in the morning. So I still had time to do some rest. But anyway, she, um, we sat on the phone until like, you know, 9 o'clock that morning. So when I got on the phone with her, you know, we had talked a long time, caught up with everything, and, and uh, it just really, uh, give me that, I'll take it. Okay. So I had to go and go to sleep. So then, uh, right when I went to sleep, was trying to go to sleep, my friend called, you know, who I worked, who I worked in the studio with, was like, yo, Ice Cube wants to come back to the studio, you know, he wants to work on the song. So I'm like, all right, so I didn't get no risk because I stayed on the phone with her that whole night, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, I got right up, went back to the studio and uh, worked on the song with my partner. And, uh, you know, and we, you know, you know, nothing really came out of that situation, but uh, that's neither here or there. But anyway, that was when me and my wife officially like hooked up you know and I just remember being in the studio couldn't like wait to get home so I can call her again and we can or she can call me and we talk and stuff and um I was looking forward to seeing her and stuff and so um we just um uh, that's how we linked back up and it was due to her sister Shonda uh the rest of most high uh rest her soul she 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 uh she passed away in 2018, the end of 2018. And uh, every time she, uh, you know, Shonda would come around, like when she seen me and my wife, you know, when we got our first apartment together, we got our house together, she would always remind us, like, yeah, I'm the one put y'all together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I would be like, yeah, you sure did, man. And so uh, I always had a special love for her in my heart, man, because, um, 
you know, she really, uh, she linked us back up. You know what I'm saying? You say you like Sandra? Yeah. Yeah, Sandra cool. You know what I'm saying? She 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 doing all right. I hope she's doing all right. Um, I haven't heard from her in a while. You know. Um, but yeah, but uh, but Shonda though, she she was she was the realest. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always had like my love for her, and she was there when my my first daughter was born. Um. She was there. We moved in our first apartment. She helped us move in a little bit, you know, helping us put stuff together, helping my wife put stuff together. Um, and when we got our first house, she wasn't there when we moved in, but she came through and showed love, you know, when we moved into our first house. And, and that's one of the things she said when she walked in. She said, look, man, y'all got all this, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all blessed and everything. And if it wasn't for me, y'all would be together. <laughs> I be like, yeah, you like, you really did. You hooked us up, man. And you know, I think it was for a time when I had went over to Hillwood when I had got my first car, and I was looking for Rochelle. And uh, when I went to the front, the door, knocked on the door, uh, all the cousins and the, uh, the grandmother and everybody came to the door, and Shonda was in the mix uh, with them, and. Um, and I was asking for, uh, you know, I was asking for Poochie and Michelle at the time. And uh, so I guess Shonda must remember, you know, that I asked about Michelle. And it's like, you know, when she seen me at Jack in the Box, when I came to Jack in the Box, she was like, uh, she remembered that I was looking for her, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, that's what happened at that time. So, you know, bless Shonda, man. You know, may she rest in peace. Um, I pray she make it to the kingdom. You know, of, of heaven, you know, and, um, you know, just bless her, you know. And uh, that was my wife's favorite sister, right there, you know. You love your sister? You did? Yeah. Never hating, just always love, you know, from her, man. And, uh, and me and her, me and her husband, uh, Larry, you know, me and him was real cool too. You know, we was real tight. You know, I haven't talked to him in a while, but you know, a long while. You know, but he was real too. You know, what I mean. But anyway, y'all, uh, I'm gonna fade out right here. I just want to tell y'all a little short story on uh, how me and my wife actually linked back up due to her sister hooking us up, and uh, we've been together, you know, happily ever after. And we still together now. I'm standing by my wife's side. She's standing by my side through it all. And you know, through the ups and downs of life, this is this is this is what goes on. You know, um, you know, you have good days, you have bad days. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, but you make it. You know, so you never give up on each other. You know what I'm saying? You stand by each other through all through it all. You know, and uh, that's what I'm doing for my wife, and that's what she's done for me. And uh, we're going to make it through this situation. And uh, I pray, you know, to the most high that my wife heals 100%. And uh, we can get back to having the fun times we always have had together. So I'm going to fade out right here. Like I say, uh, comment, like, share, uh, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on this journey. And much love to y'all. Stay calm and relaxed.